Hi everyone, I am a consultant with Rising Tide with a background in documentation and a focus in Hoodoo. Now I've been in the MSP space for a handful of years now and specifically with Rising Tide, I do our documentation implementation with Hoodoo. So that might involve best practices or better setting up your instance to make sure that your documentation is ready for being live. Now, in this case, though, we're going to talk about the magic dash today within Hoodoo, and that's a great flexible tool. And I'm going to talk about how it looks, how we use it directly, the basic components and how they function. And then I'm actually going to go into the actual scripting through PowerShell to show how you can leverage it directly. So let's hop into it. So what is the magic dash? The magic dash is a customized tile that's populated by the API. These are static cards that require additional configuration to add on to their basic capabilities, but right out of the box, there are multiple components that we can bring in. That might be certain iframes or content links that we want to bring over, even formatted tables, which we'll get into in a little bit. But this is how it's going to look like on your main dashboard. Before we go too much into these specific examples though, I'm gonna talk about the specific components that go into the magic dash and how we populate that through the API. In order to get to the main components, I'll show you exactly where the documentation is stored within Hoodoo. So I can go into my admin tab, scroll all the way down to my API keys, and then I'm going to view documentation. This is a full swagger page, so hypothetically this is fully interactable, and we can even authorize our key here and run basic functions. For sake of this though, I'm mostly just gonna talk about the components that make up the magic dash. And we can view all of that right here on this page. I'm gonna go specifically to the post section because this content here is exactly what I'm looking for. We have our message string, which will show up on that primary page. We saw that right here with the diagram and those quick little titles that I've added to these components. Next is the company name, which we actually use to point where this card is going to go to, the title at the top of this, and then we can move on to the more customized items. The icon and image URL will allow us to custom display images. I added the company logo, but if you do the icon, you can use the other formatting that we also use for asset layouts within Hoodoo. Now you can only use one of these at a time, so make sure you know it's one or the other. The same will go for content link and content itself. Content links will direct the user to a specific website URL, whereas the content will display additional info, and this can be formatted and displayed through CSS styling. Last on that is going to be the shade, which will be success, failure, and anything else in that realm will automatically make the tile white. All of my current examples are white, but success will be green and danger will be red. What does this all mean? Well, basically it's just showing the components that we need to actually bring in this info. So immediately when we start building this out without those extended scripts, there is still a good amount of information we can bring in. In this case, I have an ERD diagram from Lucidchart. And when I open this up, I can have even multiple iframes displaying data. This is a super basic model database example that I'm using from their templates. And then another is a report dash. So if I want all of this information in one section, I can compile multiple forms of content. And these are of course displayed in the content section. Since I said that it is HTML and CSS compatible, you can do a lot of formatting and bringing in those other resources with this. The other side is going to be the direct link. If I click on this link, I'll be taken directly to that website. And here we can see the actual image URL I've added. You'll notice here that the image URL and the title are conflicting a little bit. Just an easy way to show that when we are bringing these in, we have to make sure that we're formatting them correctly and using the right form. So it might've been a little bit easier to use the icon format, but I added a period on another card so you can kind of just see how we can get around that because these cards are matched on the title. So if I make any changes to them, it will create a duplicate to that title. The other part is going to be the table formatting. I've brought in a direct table. I just copied and pasted this from a KB from earlier so that we could show you that we can still embed information and have additional formatted information coming in. Again, these are static forms. So if I ever wanna make changes to those, I'll have to bring up PowerShell and start digging into those items that I need to make that all work. How do we actually utilize this functionality? 
We know how the components work. We know how we can bring those in. Now, how do we actually deploy those directly? You can use multiple forms, whether it's Insomnia, Postman, even that Swagger page within Hudu. I like doing it within PowerShell and I use the Hudu API module, which I'll install right now. So that way I can actually leverage the additional scripting and it helps guide building out those more basic magic dash cards. So with that installed, I can move on and then add the other functionality. So my new base URL. And then my API key. With those added, I can see that I have them at the top, no error code, so everything's been formatted fine. If you do add any issues or mistakes, it will let you know that there's been a problem. But I still like to test to make sure, so I just do a super simple get, and I can just do who do companies. This will bring in all the company data, and again, showing my URL so I know that this is coming from the right place. I'm going to clear all this out though, because I don't need all of this. And we're going to move into the actual magic dash. So when we get into the magic dash, I can hit my set who do magic dash here. The benefit of using the Hudu API module is that it's going to guide me through what each component I need. So starting off with my dash, I have my title, I have my company name, message, icon, image URL, which again, we can only do one icon or the image URL, content link, content, and then our shade. So these are all gonna be the main components of these. So if I wanna get my actual ones, I'll show you what the formatting looks like to those examples that I showed you. I'm gonna pull in one of my examples. So I'm gonna get my Hoodoo Magic Dash, which we can see right here. So I'm searching by the title, the ERD title right here, which I can show again so that it's as clear as possible that this is the title that I'm pulling in to search for the right one. Now I'm just gonna run this here and we're gonna see those components that I'm bringing in. We talked about how all of those made them up. And in this case, we can see exactly how the information is being put together to display it within Hudu. So I have one iframe here that's being brought across, but I actually have two in this whole page. So I layered both of those iframes together and I did it within the same content link. The same can be said for the other formats. So if I wanna pull my other one, let's say the one that had that table where I had the different links attached to it right here, that's just called the table format. So I'm gonna do another get and then just table format. Net. So these are the direct links that I've added as well and all of that formatting that's brought in. If we ever wanna make changes and we're using the API module, I'd make sure that we're doing it by title and setting. If we change the title to make an update to it, it will also fully change and create a new magic dash because typically when we're creating a item or entity through this module, we're doing new. In this case though, the magic dash is gonna be built both by set and updated by set. So that set call is gonna be how we're updating and creating new magic dash items. Wrapping up, let's build one of those together. I use that command here to actually build out my magic dash. Set who do magic dash. And then I'm gonna go on to the title and we can call it building together. And then we have our company name and then our message. And then our content can be True. We can't add the icon and image URL, but in this case, I don't have anything on hand. So I'm going to skip straight to the shade where we can talk about those different levels. This will be entered as a string and I'll call this one success. So if everything works out well, when I hit enter, we can see that I have an ID five, the different information as well as everything else. In this case saying success. Now, if the success didn't work, when I went back over to my Acme Corp, and refresh my page, this would just be white. And it actually is. So we can see that the rest of it worked, but it seems that my color did not. Maybe it had to be all lowercase. So let's try that again together. That's most likely what it is, is that it needed to be lowercase. So I'll give this another refresh and see if we updated that. Yeah, absolutely. So there we go. In that first case, I just had to use an uh, uppercase S. But that about wraps up the components of the Magic Dash, what we can actually do, and then building one of those together. 
So that about wraps up everything around the Magic Dash in terms of the basics. Now, if you have more questions around the Magic Dash or other utility, you're more than welcome to comment down below or reach out to Rising Tide. I'm always happy to talk about that subject. I will be going into more content using those more advanced scripts, so look forward to those coming out soon as well. They'll all be added to the Hoodoo playlist, so you can see even more resources around leveraging this API and the Magic Dash even further. Thank you, everyone.